Hi guys. So the section I'm going to be covering now is probability. Uh, for you guys in grade 8, there isn't really too much to it. But obviously there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. So let's get cracking. But probability tells us the chances of a certain event happening. So the probability that something is going to take place. And that can be expressed as a fraction of decimal or a percentage. For us, we, we prefer to be uh, represented as a common fraction most of the time. But if it's a decimal uh, percentage, that is also okay. We have a specific way with, in which we like to represent uh, probability. So we use this uh, notation here. P is, stands for probability. And the 5 inside the brackets over here represents the probability of it being 5. So, for example, the probability of obtaining a 5 when throwing a die will equal, will be P in 5. So that's not the answer. We still need to calculate the probability. Obviously, a, a die has 6 sides, so the probability is going to be 1 over 6. The probability of throwing a 7 is 0, because there are no 7s on a no die. Certain events are events that are definitely going to happen. In other words, you've got a 100% chance of something happening. So what is the probability, for example, of you throwing a number less than 7 when you throw a die? That's going to be a 100% chance, because all the numbers are on the die is less than 7, 1 to 6. Okay, so the probability of the values being less than 7 equals 1. Which basically, how you work this out is the, num the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of total outcomes. So, if we say, what is the probability of uh, a die landing on 5? You've got one favorable outcome, because there's only one side with a 5 on. But the total number of outcomes is 6. So, it's 1 out of 6, for example. So that's how we work it out, the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So just some more examples. Calculate the probability to get heads when you flip a coin. Obviously the one side is heads, the other side is tails. So the number of favorable outcomes there is one. There is only one heads side. And the total possible number of outcomes is two. So it's one out of two, so it's 50%. Uh, another example here, calculate the probability of throwing an even number when you throw a die. There are three even numbers on a die, 2, 4 and 6. So there are three favorable outcomes out of the total 6. And that is 3 out of 6. But you must always simplify your answers to uh, the simplest form if possible. So in this case that would be 1 over 2. Right, and then you've got uh, this uh, exercise that you need to do and the one that, it, that gets asked quite often is a pack of cards because there's so many different examples you can use with, with cards. You can use colors, you can use the different suites like club and diamonds and hearts for example So and you can use numbers. So here's a, a card is drawn from a pack of playing cards. There are 52 cards. We don't include jokers. So there's 52 cards. What is the probability that the card is a queen? So how many queens are there in a pack? There are four queens, so four out of 52. So you write P in brackets queen equals four out of 52. And that is not in simplest form. In fact, uh, it is actually going to be one over 13. And then a club, how many clubs are there? There are 13 clubs. So you will get 13 out of 52, which is a quarter of a pack of cards, 1 over 4. So you write P in brackets, club equals 1 over 4. It's okay if you first write 13 out of 52, but then you need to simplify to 1 over 4. And then there's only one jack of hearts, so that's be 1 out of 52. Right, gentlemen. So that is just a quick discussion on this probability section. And 
it doesn't really get far more difficult than that. That is all that you would be expected to know. It's just a it's just a nice section to have. You will obviously build on on this knowledge as the years progress. All the best, guys. I hope you are doing well during this lockdown period, and I hope to see you guys sooner rather than later. Cheers, gents.